Cavani is now officially a Manchester United player, Gab. Now, where do we stand on this? Great goal scorer that they needed to boost the squad or an ageing player who'd been shopped around to every single club and only Manchester United were willing to pay for him? Well, I think with Cavani, he was shopping or he, he was offered to everybody, been shopped around to everybody. And I think a lot of clubs would have taken him on a free transfer, but uh, he had absurdly high wage demands and uh, his agents had absurdly high commission demands. Now, the problem with those demands is, and I think this is one situation where for all the criticism that United have received, I think this appears to be, I mean, well, I say that, well, we don't yet have the figures, but if United said, you know what, let's call your bluff. Let's wait until the last possible minute uh, of the transfer window with, with the Champions League deadline you know, being tomorrow uh, before we go and try to close this deal. Then United played it correctly. Then United talked them down from those you know, ridiculous 10 million euros a year net demands and whatever else, you know, with people not realizing that, you know, yeah, those might, might have been the wages he was earning at Paris Saint-Germain, but for the last couple of months, his wages have been zero. Mm. So um, if that is what happened, I think United played it correctly. I think, uh, you know, having an older player in there, yeah, yes, he may be old, but, you know, it's not like he's signed a 10-year deal. Uh, he's an upgrade over Igalo, in, in my opinion, who's, who's going to leave anyway in December. So I think that signing definitely makes sense. Does he walk into the starting 11, Jules? I don't think so. I mean, simply to start with, by the fact that he hasn't played football since February uh, and he hasn't even trained with a proper f football team with a squad since February either. So he's certainly not fit, even if I think he kept himself fit on his own or with a fitness coach maybe when he was back in Uruguay or even back in Paris for the last few weeks. He's not ready to go into a team and, and, and play, uh, I don't think, anytime soon. Uh, it, will be, it will need a bit of time to work on his fitness, to work with the team, to work with the coaches there at United before he can even think about playing with Manchester United. Then what do you do with Martial? I still think that Martial, with the season that he had last year with the way you know his his relationship with Marcus Rashford for example or Paul Pogba or even Bruno Fernandes is already well established compared to Edinson Cavani so I don't think he will walk straight in I think Martial will still be the number one and Cavani can certainly bring something else to that team but Cavani will also be very much reliable and very much dependent on the rest of the team you know he's a poacher that's what he does he doesn't link up the play he doesn't really take uh, doesn't really participate in anything else but scoring goals. So if the service isn't there, it's not going to be very useful to Manchester United. So the team will have to work a lot for him and serve him well for him to be able to score, which is very different to Anthony Martial, who has a very, very different profile. It's just two different profiles. And I guess Solskjaer will have, will have another plan, someone he can bring on or start, depending on the opposition and, and the games, that, the way he wants them to play. If you believe reports, Solskjaer from day one has wanted a centre-back brought in. He got a left-back in Tellers. Uh, Gab, why didn't United buy a centre-back? Well, I would assume it's because they didn't want to be taken for a ride um, and, and overspend, right? That, that's always the explanation uh, that we get from, uh, you know, when United are questioned on this. Um, I genuinely don't know, Jules and I have been saying it for, for weeks, you know, if you can't uh, get the guy you want or or somebody actually told me pointed out on social media there's an old proverb that says if you can't get the fruit from the top of the tree get the fruit from the bottom of the tree because you still got to eat and you know when i look at this now with chris smalling gone as well i look at united's options uh, at center back i look at the fact the transfer window's not reopening again uh, until january and i think to myself man this could be a really really long mm. three months for ola gunnar solskjaer I get it. I get it that, you know, they didn't want to go and, 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 and spend and overspend for Upa Meccano or whatever else. And they wanted to bide their time. But if you can't get that, go get a veteran, a guy who knows his way around. Uh, there were so many players out there that, that were available on loan or on a short term basis, similar deal to Cavani, just to get another warm body in. So that, you know, your first option off the bench wouldn't be Eric Bailly and, and Phil Jones and Axel Twanzibi and Timothy Fosu-Mensa and, and, and guys like that. How much of a dereliction of duty is this from arguably one of the biggest clubs in the world, Jules, that they've left themselves in this state? 
I think he's terrible. I think he's a huge failure. I think he's it's a disgrace. I think he's again a sign of incompetence. And where I slightly disagree with Gab is that sometimes you have to overpay. I think Liverpool overpaid at the time for Virgil van Dijk. He was not worth the price they paid. And no one at that time could have could have well maybe maybe they thought okay he's going to become the best. But you could not have put your house you know on it really at the time so yeah of course they overpaid and maybe United could have overpaid for Upamecano saying okay maybe he's not worth 75 million now but he will be in two years time or even a year time because he would be that good and sometimes that's just the way it is you have to overpay you have to overpay PSG overpaid for Kylian Mbappe you know that's the way it is but now he's worth that money and same with Virgil van Dijk and it could have been exactly the same for United I don't I don't buy that oh yeah they didn't want to overpay or they didn't want to pay too much or you know, maybe the same for Jadon Sancho is right too and I just think it's a huge mistake they didn't sign a proper centre back and I think I could easily see them being haunted by the fact that they would be stuck for at least six months with Maguire, Bailly and Lindelof. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming subscribe to ESPN+.